So for this project, I'm going to be taking the Loops and Threads Charisma yarn. Uh, it is a weight 5 bulky and I'm taking a 8mm hook. So to begin this project, I'm going to begin making one of the front side panels. Uh, the pattern for both sides of the front panels are exactly the same, the right and the left side. Just to keep that in mind, and I am making a size small. So I'm going to begin by creating my slip knot. And then I'm going to chain a total of 22. So this is for my size small. I will have alternate sizes available for free on my blog. So once you have chained out 22, I'm going to be placing my hook through that very first chain of the row. And I'm going to be placing uh, one single crochet through that chain. Once you have your first single crochet, you're just going to chain four. Then you're going to be counting out the next three chains of the row. One, two, three. So you're going to be skipping those first three chains, placing your hook through the fourth chain. And then you're going to be placing one single crochet through that chain. Then again, you're going to chain four. Skip the very next three chains, placing your hook through the fourth chain. Repeat that for the remainder of this row. So once you have placed your last single crochet through the very last chain, then to begin on the second row, we're going to be chaining three. Flip over your work. So once you have flipped over your work, you're going to be placing two double crochets through that chain four space. So wrap the yarn around the hook, go through that entire space, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, pull through two. That is a double crochet going to be placing one more through that ch very first chain four space. So once I have the two, um, I'm going to be chaining one, going over to the very next chain four space, and I'm going to be placing a total of three double crochets through this space. So at the very beginning of the row, we are only placing two because the chain three kind of acts like one double crochet so that's the reason why the very first space only gets two but the remainder of the chain four spaces will each get three double crochets through each of those so now that i have three double crochets going through my chain four space I'm going to be chaining one and repeating that in the very next space. So placing a total of three double crochets through this space as well. Again, I'm going to be chaining one in between each triangle. Um, I'm just gonna be calling these triangles. So yeah, I'm just gonna continue this until the end of the row. Once you have placed your last double crochet, um, then to get started on the next row, we are just going to be chaining a total of four. Flip over your work, and then that chain one space in between the two triangles, I'm going to be placing my hook through that and placing one single crochet. Then I'm going to be chaining four again, skipping over the next triangle, placing my hook in the chain one space, placing a single crochet. Chain out four. So you're just going to be repeating this for the remainder of the row. Once you're at the end, again, we're going to be repeating the triangle row. So basically this entire cardigan is going to be repeating these two rows. You're going to do one row of triangles and then one row of spaces. So to begin on the row of triangles, again, you're going to chain three, flip over your work. This very first chain four space only gets two uh, double crochets because the chain three kind of acts as one. You're going to always chain one in between your triangles and then go ahead through that very next chain four space, placing three double crochets. So I'm just going to be repeating these two rows um, 
over and over again until I get the length of the cardigan that I would like. Um, my written pattern will be available on my blog. I'm just going to go ahead and finish that and when I come back I will tell you exactly how many rows I did for my size. If you want to just go ahead and skip over to my blog, the written pattern will already be listed out there. But yeah, so I'm just going to go ahead and continue this pattern until it hits below my armpit. So we will be working the sleeves directly onto this portion of the top. So I will come back and let you know how to do that once I am finished. So now I'm finished with the length of my top for one of these sides. I did a total of 16 triangle rows. So uh, that means I repeated um, rows one and two 16 times. Uh, so yeah, so once you have the length that you want, you can continue that longer if you want your cardigan to be longer. I'm just gonna stop there. I'm gonna go ahead and attach the arms directly onto this piece. So what I'm gonna do is I just finished my last uh, double crochet in my triangle and all I'm going to do is just directly chain off of this and I'm going to chain a total of 40. So once I have chained out my 40 from my um, front sleeve, I'm just gonna flip over the work and then um, just be do your best to make sure it's not twisted, but I'm going to be placing my hook through the uh, very first chain of that row, placing a single crochet, then I'm going to chain four skip over the next three chains and placing my hook in the fourth chain uh, with a single crochet. So I'm just gonna continue that. Back down the chain that we just made. So now I have almost made my way back to the side panel. Um, we want the um, chain four spaces to line up evenly over the triangles. Like usual, there is only three chains left um, normally we would skip three and place it in the fourth, but since um, we're trying to connect it evenly, I'm only going to chain three on the chain four space uh, right before you connect back to the pattern. And I'm just going to go through the very first chain of the uh, double crochet in that uh, very first triangle. So I hope that makes sense, but if you have to make a slightly smaller space right before you go back into the bulk of the work that's totally fine so once i've done that i'm just going to go back to usual chain four going in the chain one space of the triangle beneath it So now that I've reached the end, I'm just going to continue on with the pattern as usual. So chaining three to begin the triangle row. The only difference is now you're going to be working all the way down the sleeve. So I'm gonna do this um, two rows repeated, probably about four to five more times, but you could uh, do it for as long as you want. However wide you want your sleeve to be, just continue that. I'm probably just gonna do four more um, rows of those two patterns oh my god i can't talk so yeah i'm just going to continue this and i will be back to show you what is next so i finished the remaining rows of my sleeve and just fastened that off i'm going to begin on the back piece now just i'm going to create a slip knot and then chain a total of 55. so basically for the back portion we're going to be repeating those the same pattern that we've been doing for the front panels. Um, so this first row, I'm just going to chain 55. So once you have chained out 55, the first row is going to be repeated the same exact way that we did the front panels. I'm going to place my hook through the first chain with a single crochet and then I'm going to be placing my chain four spaces along this very first row. So again, just chain four, skip over three chains, placing your hook through the fourth chain, and uh, repeating that over for this entire row. So I am just going to be speeding over this part. The second row will be the row of triangles. 
um, and then you're just going to repeat that a total of 16 times for the back portion. So now I've repeated those two rows for a total of 16 times for the bulk of the back piece. So now I'm going to be working the sleeves directly off of the last row of the 16th um, repeated pattern. Just like we did with the sleeves, I'm just going to be chaining a total of 40 off of that very last chain of the row. So now that I have my chain of 40, I'm going to flip over the work and I'm going to be um, working a um, chain 4 space pattern into the very next row. So I'm placing my hook through that first chain with a single crochet. Then again, as usual, chaining 4, skipping over 3 chains, placing my hook through the 4th chain with a single crochet. So I'm going to continue that um, all the way back down the row and through the back panel, working to the other side where then I'm going to chain off 40 for um, the other side of the sleeve. So I'm just going to continue the chain 4 spaces down this row like we have been doing as usual. So again, I've reached my way back to the back panel. I'm just going to be continuing as usual with my chain 4 spaces row. So now I've made it to the end and from here I'm just going to chain off 40 for the other side of the sleeve. So once you have finished with your chain of 40, to continue with the integrity of the pattern we are just going to be going right into a triangle row. So I'm going to chain 3, skip over to the 4th chain, and I'm going to be placing my hook through that chain. I'm going to be placing a total of three double crochets through that one chain. Then I'm going to chain one, prepare for a double crochet, skip over to the fourth chain, again placing three double crochets. So we're going to be kind of making our own triangle row into that chain just so that we can continue on with the pattern for the remainder of the back piece um, without interrupting or having to cut and tie for each sleeve. So this is all I'm doing to make it a little bit easier. I'm just going to go down the row um, doing a triangle pattern until I reach the main part of the back piece. So now that I've made my way back to the main part of the back, I'm just going to continue the triangles as usual through the chain 4 spaces. So chaining 1, going straight through that very first chain 4 space, placing my triangle. Um, then I'm just going to continue it along the remainder of the back piece and then through onto the other sleeve. So now we're going back to usual um, with our pattern except now we're incorporating the pattern throughout the two sleeves that we just created. So I'm going to be repeating um, this pattern uh, four more times. So repeating those two rows of triangles and chain four spaces. I'm going to repeat that four more times to finish off the sleeves. So that's all I'm going to be doing, repeating this pattern. Um, and then yeah, I'll be back to show you what's next. So once you have finished with the back piece, you should have your back piece and then two side panels. Um, so now I'm just going to be connecting everything together. Um, I'm going to be basically just crocheting everything together because that's the easiest way for me. So yeah, all I'm going to do is line up one of my front side panels to the back. And then I'm going to be attaching my hook and yarn through... Um, the very bottom space. I just did that with a double knot. Then I'm going to be placing my hook, um, doing a row of single crochets, placing my hook through any any place really it'll fit. Um, you want to keep this chain pretty loose because you don't want to cinch the sides together too much. But that's the only thing you need to keep in mind. So basically you're just going to go along um, just connecting all of the pieces together 
Um, and yeah, that's basically it. So I'm just going to go ahead and do this to both sides. So now I have gone ahead and attached all of the sides together um, and I also um, went along the sleeve attaching it all the way up into the shoulder just uh, straight. So um, yeah that's basically it. I flipped it inside out and so that's basically it for this tutorial. It's super easy and actually a really quick tutorial. This works up so quickly just because of all of the uh, loose spaces. I still think it looks really cool. But yeah, um, thank you guys so much for watching. Um, if you have any questions, please leave them down below. And I will see you in my next video.